All right, so let's talk about this. And Charlie, I feel like you're ready to go on losing a manager halfway through the season and what this means, not only for the manager, but for the team overall. Do you think it was a good move for him to take off if he had that chance to go back to Europe? From what I understand, his family is still over in Europe. He just wanted to be mm -hmm. closer and back to family, which makes a lot of sense to me. Now, obviously, Belgium's a little bit closer than New York City. Well, one, he did it a fantastic, incredible job with New York City FC. He, he won the MLS Cup. And he, he also cultivated such a, a talented roster. Uh, a, a lot of young players with a, a lot of potential. You know, Tati Casanos, I think he played a big role in developing him in terms of his maturity. You know, he, he when he came into the league, it was a lot of fighting and getting yellow cards, you know, pointless yellow cards as well. He was he was a little feisty. He, he was able to calm down and mature under Ronnie Dyla. And I don't blame Ronnie Dyla. You came, you saw, you conquered. A little bit of slot time. You came from Europe, you came from Celtic, and you won MLS Cup. If you're a coach who has ambition, what what more do you want to achieve? Of course, you could win CONCACAF Champions League, but realistically, you won MLS Cup. You want to go back to Europe and get back in the limelight. And Standard Liège is a great club to go to. I mean, we, we know Gucci Agnew, we played there for, for a number of years, but they, they are constantly competing for the league championship, and they're typically playing in Europe. So it's a great move for him, and uh, you, you just wish him the best, and he, he did what he, he came to do. I mean, he did yeah. his job. They, 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 finished, they, they finished the season pretty in, in, a, in a weak place, I think mid-table, and we're out of that, that championship. But I think that's a great situation for him to be in. And again, the family thing is, it's a real struggle. We saw Thierry Henry, same thing. Like, I can't get to my family during the pandemic. And it's still a stressful travel for family, considering the, the period that we're in right now. And it makes makes total sense. And on top of that, Charlie, he, he also had them firing in the regular season consistently mm -hmm. uh, while, he was, while he was at the club. And I think LAFC get a lot of credit for their regular season form, considering they haven't converted that outside of uh, Supporter Shield into an MLS Cup. And NYCFC, I think, have been neck and neck with him as one and two over the last three years of of in terms of regular season wins or points in a regular season. And that's now led to the culmination of, of an MLS Cup at a club that's notoriously hard and generally has uh, a lot of negative news about them because of the stadium that they play in, because of their part of the, the larger city football group and all that sort of stuff that to be able to do that with the team that he has, I think it's spectacular. And now to go for a new challenge, that's just the way it is. And and honestly, it's not midseason. It's end of season for 99% of the world. So it's the right time to go and join a club if you're leaving. Uh, it just unfortunately means that you're you're sort of bailing on, on the way our league works or Major League Soccer works in terms of its league structure. Now, Nick Cushing is going to take over. He is the, the interim as it stands. He was coaching Manchester City women's team. He won six trophies with them, including the 2016 Super League title. He was named manager of the year of that league back in 2016 as well. Now, what's interesting about NYCFC is that when you look back at their now coaches, they started with Jason Christ, who's now the assistant with uh, Inter Miami under Phil Neville. Then they had Crystal Palace boss, right? Patrick Vieira, and now Galatasaray coach Dominic Toron. Did I say that right? I don't probably didn't because I'm struggling today. Also, I just when I think of Ronnie Dyla, I had Tim Melia in my hand because we were talking about Tim Melia and Sporting Kansas City before we mm -hmm. came on. And it's the same letters, just in different orders. So I apologize to Ronnie Dyla and his family for, for butchering that. I should have. He apologized to his family, too. I, I did. That's I a did. real guilt. You're living That's with real some real thing. guilt right now. I did. I was feeling bad about it. Family. I was feeling uh, bad about it. I'm just feeling, oh, I'm feeling bad about it. I, I should I should know that. But I had Tim Melia. You should write a You got to write a letter. I'm going to write a strongly worded letter. And to NYCFC with an apology. Like I feel terrible. I take pride in being able to pronounce it. Delete the tweet. You got you got a lot of making up to do, you know? got a lot. <laughs> a lot to do. I got a lot to do. So anyway, NYCFC, uh, I think they're going to still continue to have a lot of success. Charlie, I know you follow them in the Eastern Conference of MLS quite closely. Now, when I look back at their playoff run last year, they beat Atlanta United in the first round. Then they beat the Supporter Shield winners, your New England Revolution, in penalties. And then they got it. They, they took advantage of Philadelphia Union having about 15 COVID cases and getting past them 2-1 before beating the Portland Timbers in penalties in the final some will say that was kind of lucky kind of fortuitous but you can only do with, with what's in front of you do you feel like nycfc have a chance to repeat maybe make a deep run in the open cup or the campiones oh, yes, cup how, absolutely how are you feeling about uh yeah you think they have a chance to win more trophies this season no matter who the coach is 
Yes, they, they have depth. Uh, they, and the, as long as they have Tati Castellanos as well, they, they have a shot at winning, uh, go, again, repeating in MLS Cup, but also uh, U.S. Open Cup. The question is, if Ronnie Dyla is going, will they sell does that, Tati yeah, does that send like a, well? Does that send a message, though, to like, hey, I'm out. Maybe the other players like Tati might be thinking – well, if our if our boss is gone, I, maybe maybe it's my time for me to leave as well because I know he was maybe pushing to get out as well. But if yes. by, by the way, if you're if you're leaving the club and you're a manager and you're from Europe, you're trying to go back to Europe. It's the only time to leave unless you're going in the middle of a a, a crap storm of a situation where they fire and you got to jump in right away. There's no other real time to go back to Europe and get a job uh, than the summer transfer window. You know, like it, it's just circumstance. I don't think that leads into the team, especially when it's family family based. It's not yeah, like he's yeah, jumping true, ship. True. Uh, so you sorry. think they got a chance then? You think it's hard to repeat as MLS Cup champion though? Very hard, but they definitely have a chance. All right. Think about the the rest of the league. There's not one team that's out there saying, "Hey, we're the best." Seattle, they're loaded too. They're typically always going to be competing for the Western Conference title. But in terms of the Eastern Conference, it's wide open. New York City FC are still the team. If them and Philadelphia Union are are the clear front runners for the Eastern Conference Championship. Yeah, it's going to be tough. And uh, I look forward to continuing to see how the, the league plays out this upcoming season.